have a theory. Job references are worthless. After the shocking murders on live TV of Adam Ward and Allison Parker by Vester Flanagan, we find out that the killer was, no surprise, an <laughs> and a lunatic. The scum falsely smeared his victims as racist, but his past reveals that racial accusations were his shtick to extort and frighten employers. I hate discussing crazed loners, but this one speaks to a truth I've always suspected. No one gives honest job references ever. At his various jobs, he had a reputation for threatening behavior. At one point, the sales staff at one place actually hid from him in a locked office. He left a string of perpetrated accusations and conflicts, and he, he was a terrible worker. So how did he keep getting jobs? He didn't get bad references even when HR re recommended he seek help. He didn't get bad references even when people complained about him. The reason, bad references that tip off future employers might get you sued, or worse, called racist. Mayor Giuliani hinted at this on FNF. And the employer was probably afraid yeah. Uh, yeah. because of EEOC and everything else sure. to call the police and say, hey, this guy sounds kind of sounds kind of dangerous. He looks kind of dangerous. Yeah. Okay. It looks like he had a couple of fights. He was a violent guy. Yep. Hmm. But see, we live in a time where we are intimidated from the truth and forced into lies of omission just to avoid the hassle of the roving hordes of grievance merchants. So people push this ghoul from job to job, making him someone else's problem, a problem that eventually killed people. Period. All right, uh, Julie, is this a problem that just cannot be solved? I'm going to teach you how to give the best bad job reference ever. Okay. So ring, ring. Hi, do you want to hire Greg? Should we hire Greg Gutfeld? You work with him. What do you think? Here's the way to do it without, sh by shiving you in the back without actually saying anything negative. I don't know. Who else are you looking at? Mm. That's how you do it. That lets people know that you really you should probably take a look at somebody other than Greg Gutfeld, but Greg Gutfeld can't come and kill me because mm. I didn't say anything bad about him. Mm. That's good. That's Pro tip. Thank you. Yeah.